So we made it to our fourth and final island of our honeymoon. And what an adventure it was. Oh my gosh. To, we're, we're here. We're here. But to get to Santorini, we had to take a ferry from Milos here. It was supposed to only be an hour and 40 minutes. Ended up being three hours because it was so choppy. It was like the worst day to take a ferry. People on our ferry ride were struggling. Like, Feels like everyone was getting sick. I'm gonna save you, yeah. I'm gonna save you guys. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'm so thankful we are on land right now. Once we got to the port in Santorini, it took 40 minutes for the ride to get to our hotel. We're staying in Ia, which is like the picturesque white buildings everywhere on the side of the cliff. We're not actually staying on like the touristy side, we're staying at a hotel called was it Santo Maurice? Yep. My sister stayed here before, so she recommended it. It's like five minutes outside the busy town. It's nice because there's not like a whole lot of tourists, so. And if Betty recommends it. Yeah, my sister's been everywhere. So if she that. recommends it, then it's like a good place to go. Anyways, look, look at this room. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> also, can we take a second and look at Bridger's? Potentially the greatest thing I've ever had. Okay, so there's a little hallway this way. It's just a closet. The bathroom. Over here, it's like a little kitchen nook area. These doors, oh my goodness, these doors open up. It turns into like a little kitchenette. And then the best part. Oh, look at this. That is the view. We have a little jacuzzi. There's a, I think they have like five hotels at the, or sorry, five pools at this hotel. So we'll be using this one. And I know the city of Ia is just like right on the other side over there. I cannot wait to explore. Okay, we are walking the streets of Ia. It's pretty busy and this is like an off-season month. I can't imagine it being August or July. But we're gonna find some authentic euros. We're gonna try to find the best one in Santorini. Challenge accepted. <laughs> we probably had how many things? Oh. Like five euros. Two a day. At least? At yeah. Times. They're so, they're just so good. I'm like, I've turned into craving them. Let me show you guys a view. Peter Euro. Peter Euro. But apparently these are like authentic. I think these might be the best ones. Oh my god. We got the chicken Euros. Pro tip, hold this down. Tzatziki is so good. Fun fact, me and Bridge had a job in high school making Euros. At the giggling Greek. My dad's Greek friend. I become kind of a... So we know how to make them. A tzatziki snob. <laughs> I know. Like this is really good. Yeah, and they don't bother me over here. It's pita bread, tzatziki, the yogurt, nothing. It's so good. Where does this rank for you? Out of 10. It's <laughs> You just a 10. You can't just give out 10. You give out 10's really easy. You want to give out 10's all the time. This is like a 9.3, which is very good. Tzatziki's on point, very fresh. We'll be back soon with another review. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, they don't do feta. On, oh, the, yeah. on the euros, like in the states, when you get a euro, there's feta on it. Well, we made, yeah, we made a feta, or at least that's what we did it. So if you want feta, you gotta order it extra. Okay, we've come to a moody fish tavern. We've come to. <laughs> we've come to, and it's like the most beautiful sunset. It's right on the water. It's actually where we walked this morning. Few of you guys recommended this. It's feta and phyllo dough with honey and sesame on top. So we're gonna try. Mm. It's like the wildest flavor. I've never had anything like that. I've never had anything like it. Okay, today's transportation. Our first time on ATVs in Santorini. 
This should be very interesting. The last time I rode an ATV was, was when I lived on our farm growing up. Really? <laughs> yeah, we had one. So, wish us luck. We're gonna go to the Black Sand Beach. A lot of you guys recommended it. And then, I'm not quite sure, but I'm really excited for this. <laughs> Your friend hits your phone Dying to tell you how I feel Before you go You know that I'm begging you to say You know I will So this is not sand in the water It's actually rock We were wondering why people were struggling Walking out here We thought the water was too cold But it's warm This is just rock So it's a little like, like a flat rock Okay, so we ate here, it's the Acropolis restaurant, and any of the restaurants along this whole road, if you eat at their restaurant, you can get their sunbeds for free. So, just a little quick tip, but there's like tons of restaurants across this whole town. These things are wild. <laughs> you look good on there. Good. We got the pink flowers. Pink power plus helmet. We have to do our 45 minute voyage home. It is a voyage. Okay, we thought that this island was like smaller than it was, but it's <laughs> huge and it takes like like an hour to get to each side, right? Yeah, I think so, at least. Alright. Alright, see you on the other side. Just climbed up. Just climbed up on our chair. <laughs> Oh, Tzatziki. I didn't talk here because it's the same color with the towel. Tzatziki? Yeah, Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Does she live at the hotel? Uh, she came one day in Neverland. Oh. Okay. For how long? It's like uh, two months. Oh. Here. Well, she's living living the life. Yeah. The best life. The best yeah, life. Yeah. Tzatziki. <laughs> so cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, I probably wouldn't leave either. Okay, so we're at Meteor Cafe. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the view. It's like a dream. We also watched Sister to the Traveling Pants last night on our laptop in bed. So this is like the same, I feel like it's the same area that they filmed in. They definitely walked through this. Also, I got the most delicious, fresh squeeze of orange shoes. They have the best orange shoes here. Yep. They like hand squeeze it. And I hope today as we're swimming, I'm giving off Coast Dust vibes. Oh yeah. Also to recap yesterday, we initially got the ATVs for two days, mm. but since we literally rode them for- Because it was a mission yesterday. This island is huge. It's huge. I think we drove them for 48 minutes each way. Yeah. So it was like a long time. More on the way down. On the ATVs. We got, we got so we were, track. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were kind of just, it was great. It was amazing. It was so much fun. We saw the black sand beach but we're kind of just done with the ATVs because it was just a lot of time like driving. Well, the other islands, if you hop in the dune buggy, like you can go across the island in 15 minutes. Like, yeah, or like 30 max. 30 max. This one's just huge. huge. And we like staying in Ia, yeah. like a lot. Ia's a vibe. Ia's so cute. If we I had more time, we could probably go down to Thera. <laughs> Thera or Thera. Yeah, everyone's suggesting places there, but I don't know. We like this area a lot. We're gonna go down and swim by We're by the a Moody Bay today. And then maybe the beach on the other side. So we'll show you guys that. Whew. There it is. It's like a secret little jumping swimming area that I don't think a lot of people know about. Someone just told us this was like in the top ten best places to jump on the cliff, right? Yeah. But it felt shorter. Anyways, we, we just did it. Yeah, it was epic. <laughs> you jump off here, swim around that little spot, and then there's someone getting down. We just did that. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was like 30 feet. But right when you jump in, you see the most incredible view. I mean, you're out there in the water, but you can see the whole town of Ia, I think, here too. It's, and the water is so clear, so blue. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna jump in again. Bridge was so cute. <laughs> Yesterday when we went to the supermarket, I picked up dog food. 
offered to Zeke eat. Because we don't know if like the hotel takes care of her. I'm sure they do. Or like what's the deal. But we're just like big dog people. So we're gonna go find her and see if we can feed her. <laughs> yeah, I'm like huffing and puffing. We've done so many hills today. So if you come to Santorini, just be prepared to walk a lot and to go uphill a lot. I actually also worked out legs at the gym this morning, so it's a little hard. We didn't find Tzatziki, but I know. She's Maybe. around here somewhere. Yeah, if we can't find her before we leave tomorrow morning, then we'll just give it to like the front desk and just say it's for her. But we are on our way to our last dinner and we're gonna get the best euros in Greece. I know earlier I said, can eat some more twice, but <laughs> Definitely can go to Pito Euro twice. Yeah, Pito Euro. We already Greece. showed it earlier when we are here. We're gonna get two chicken euros. So good. Greek salad. Oh. We may or may not bring it back to our hotel so we can watch the sunset, but we'll see how fast we can be because I think it's in like 40 minutes. <laughs> Just in time, we are rushing to get this. So everyone is. Oh my gosh, around the corner there on all the buildings looking at the sunset. But we may have the best view of anyone. All is fun and romantic until I figured out that Bridge 8. Are we doing this? Yeah, the last <laughs> of my Siete wedding cookies. Mexican wedding cookies. <sighs> Can I say my piece? Go. It's been. 15 days since we got to Greece. 15 days? I should get an award. I was saving them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, guys, I love Siete more than most brands. There's not the most cookies in that bag. We can all admit that. It's a little bag. I should get an award for them making it to the end of Santorini. I literally think I had, w you gave me one cookie <laughs> like, <laughs> like four days ago. They're on the kitchen table. I didn't give you anything. They've been available <laughs> to the whole house. After dinner, like I love having one, like one thing. Tonight I'm craving the cookie. I was so excited. She said, I'm like, she, <laughs> she said, she goes, I can't wait to go inside and have a Siete cookie. And I go, I got something to tell you right now. And we literally just argued for like 12 minutes. It was an argument. It was a debate. But the uh, well, same thing happened with your ice cream. She likes the idea of a dessert more than she actually likes the dessert itself. Like this no, ice cream. I like, I like one bite or two bites. And then I'm like good, that usually. That doesn't work when there's only 12 bridge, bites and we're 15 That doesn't trip. work for Bridge because Bridge has the entire bag of whatever you're snacking on. It's 15 Because we brought the, the Smart Sweet Swedish oh. Bridge, the Smart <laughs> Sweet Gummy Bears, the Siete Cookies, and the Smart Sweets Peachos, which are like mine. Those Peach, are mine. The peaches are still there. But you also mentioned that you had some today. I had one. I had one peach out. <laughs> you did not just have one. I had the couple. We're running out of our snack food. It's the end of the trip. That's what they're for. If you guys haven't had the Siete wedding cookies. Oh my gosh. They're so good. Let's see this. Chef's kiss. I wish I had them. <laughs> but we are going to watch. Because last night we watched the Sister of the Traveling Pants. You know, getting like the grease. Grease vibe because they filmed some of it here in Santorini. Can I just say, for all the. And Bridge has never seen it, so we had to watch it. For all the husbands out there, for all the boyfriends, the fiancés, the acting is phenomenal. We were walking it, up. I almost cried. Yeah. Poor little Bailey. I won't spoil it. That's a spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, like me. <laughs> it's been out for a while. We were decade, walking up a hill three. today after lunch, like random time. We were silent. We were just walking up the hill. Phenomenal acting. Bridge goes, I can't get over the acting in Sister of the Dragon. They're <laughs> so good. <laughs> no, I'm, my friends are going to kill me for this, but like, but not, we're gonna, not literally. We're going to watch number two tonight. <sighs> He's excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get back to like our stock of like our snack desserts, yeah. you know? And back to our cocoa bean. Okay. I just, Bridget wears this like every day now. It reminds me of my dog. Cocoa bean. And, and Ellie. Ellie. And Ellie. Yeah. You know, it's just tough because we've been saying cocoa a lot because the hat. And then we get like parent guilt because we're like, and Ellie. Like we say to each other, like, <laughs> and Ellie. Yeah. But like, don't forget about. We like, don't. The queen it's just the hat. It's like. The house. Well, we're going to go. It's our last night in Santorini. From Santorini with love. Okay. Bye.
we came to this one spot where you take like famous pics. This is the one I posted on Instagram, but if you get here early enough, there's not really a line. <laughs> but you kind of just take your turn. I'm trying Terpsy and Ia for breakfast on our last day. The coolest thing I didn't realize until this morning, that's where we were swimming. In a moody bay. Why did I never see it? I never saw it until today. Until we went there. But if you guys come here, you can see it. You go. You have to go around down by a moody bay, all the restaurants, and then walk around the point, and then you can jump off. That's also where the Sisterhood <laughs> traveling fans was filmed. We found. I think it's Tzatziki. She has a caller today. We found her in kind well, of traffic. Kind of traffic. So we're just bringing her back to. Good girl. <laughs> we brought her inside. I mean, we just want to make sure she's getting cared for. Producers. Good girl. The hotel confirmed that it was her when we were walking in, so we know it's the same one. I love this place. <laughs> like, I think we could move here, honestly. Right. I really Hands do. down, we could probably move here. Except we already got yelled at. Um, <laughs> we rented bikes. It's intense here. Yeah. So we got yelled at once. We're figuring it out. Bridger, Bridger's already done it the last time he was here. Yeah. Um, I don't remember when to use the bell and when not to, so my bells might be a little off right now, but we're figuring it out. There's lots of rules. They're everywhere. You have to know where you're going. <laughs> and we have Anne Frank later, yep. which I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to do that. Last time we yeah, were we here, yeah, I know the tickets got sold out last time. Yeah, you gotta book like months. In yeah, advance. you have to book it like a month in advance. So we're just riding around. It's like the most beautiful day. It was actually supposed to rain today, so I'm happy the sun is out. We just got breakfast at CT Coffee and Coconuts. Fire. So good. We went there the last time we were here. Get the French toast. Yeah, and yeah, just a quick. Quick little stop in Amsterdam before our trip home. Came to Winkle 43. They are famous for their apple pie. <laughs> we actually came here three years ago and we got the same thing. We have a picture like this. Look at that. Hey guys, we're at the airport. We're leaving Amsterdam. Sad times. Heading back to Seattle. It was the best trip, one of the best trips we've ever It been was on. the best trip ever, yeah. I would say. Yeah, I think it was 18 nights total. Let me quickly say, thank you so much for planning this. You absolutely killed it. Bridger didn't know like literally anything that we it's were like doing or wherever we were staying. <laughs> I had all, all the planning in that department. But we want to play a quick like favorite thing from yeah. each place. We're we gonna want. do like a quick recap of the entire trip. We didn't think that we were gonna be able to go to Amsterdam. Some of you guys have been following along. I know I mentioned that on Instagram stories. If you were coming straight from the US, you could not go to Amsterdam due to COVID regulations and guidelines. But since we were already in the EU for like 10 plus days, we were able to go, which is like... We essentially like satisfied so, their, their quarantine period. Yeah, which I'm so happy about because we could honestly see ourselves living in Amsterdam. It's such a livable place. You guys, it's great. yeah, I love it so much. Favorite part of Mykonos? For I you. Think, yeah, I think it would be when we got our drinks at, in Little Venice, like right on the water, oh, where cool. we could see the windmills, and it was like the, 
the waves splashing up. That was like our second night in yeah. Greece, so I think it was just like, oh, this is, it was just. It was, and it's breathtaking. And yeah. we saw sunset. It was wild. And Rachel has a really cool reel, so if you want to check it out and see what we're talking about. It's on my she made a really cool reel. Mine would be Sunset 180. It's like yeah. this really cool, like, panoramic view. I guess not panoramic, but like, almost panoramic. Well, it's 180, it's 180 degrees. degrees. <laughs> but it's like the most epic sunset view, and like you have all of, of, all of Mykonos town. All of Mykonos town down below. Sick. Um, Make sure you reserve your table if you go there beforehand. If you want, like, yeah, like if you care about like where you sit, and, like, day, you can pick your exact seat on the website. Yeah. Um, Paros was next. Mm -hmm. We loved Paros. Oh. It was probably probably one of our top islands. Yeah. My favorite part was going and taking a ferry with our car to oh, Anti Paros. Okay. It was so much fun. We just literally got a, two beach chairs and hung out on a beach for like four hours. And, and the yacht came by. It was really cool. The yacht came by. There was Good a wiener dog. It was perfect. It was perfect. a vibe. Mine would probably be like our dinners in, I mm. never can say the name, Nassau. I think it's Nassau. Nassau. I'm so sorry Nassau. for Greek. I'm murdering it. But we'll it's literally it the coolest little town. The shopping is great. The food is great. And it's built around like these little like, it's like a port, right? Like a little yeah, port. Yeah, a little fishing village. They're, they're, it's so cute. Okay, next is Milos. Definitely jumping off the cliffs in yeah. Serikaniko. So fun. I don't know if that's how you say it. Serikaniko Beach was so much fun. Even though I got stung yeah. by a jellyfish, it was still a highlight of the whole trip. Yeah. And just riding our little um, buggy around everywhere. You know it's fun if you get stung by a jellyfish and still is your favorite thing. <laughs> that. Mine would be hiking to the top of the, the castle and okay. watching the sunset. Yeah. It's a little bit of a hike, but literally the view is actually like full 360. You can see all yeah. of Milos. And it's, Milos is really cool because it, it didn't take long to get anywhere. Like everywhere is 20 minutes by car. Mm -hmm. We were in a very central spot, so maybe that was just our. Yeah, maybe um, that was it. Our experience, but. I'll do a blog post on like every single island so you guys know exactly what was recommended by yeah, all of you guys because you guys gave the best tips. Next is Santorini. Yeah. What do you think? Santorini. Santorini is a vibe. Santorini is just breathtaking in every single way. It is the most beautiful place in the world. Especially here. I think the most beautiful place I've ever been. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. So the city OIA. You think it would be like Oi, Oya, but it's Ia, it's yeah. pronounced. Um, that's where we stayed. I would definitely recommend it. We basically stayed there mo the entire five days that we were there, maybe yeah. maybe four days. But we, it we was so much fun. One day. The Moody, um, Moody Bay. Bay. Oh, that was my favorite part. I think jumping. The secret spot. Yeah, in the secret spot, you can jump in the water. Um, yeah. Mine would probably be. Tzatziki. Uh, it'd probably be Tzatziki. I love. We fell in love with this little, this little dog. Ah. Yeah. We just already emailed two of the animal rescues on the island, so we'll to see. see if we can and get. Honestly, her. the problem is the people at well, not the problem. The people at the hotel like love they her. They love her. They gave her a call. They I don't. yeah. They said that the hotels around that area too because she basically like stays at Santa Maria's hotel. Yeah. But the hotels around have called like they've started calling her Tzatziki and they take care of her. So like everyone take takes care of her, but she doesn't have like an actual home. I don't know if she's up for it. Option. Like I think they would not. I don't know if they'd let her go. Yeah, that's a thing. But it's okay, you know. Okay, and then Amsterdam. Uh, <sighs> Every yeah. single part of it. We rode bikes, and now I'm thinking. I said 15 miles on Insta stories. It was way more. We like calculated a little bit of it. Yeah, it had to have been. We rode like definitely, the entire day. Definitely over 20. But I mentioned also, it's like I know biking is already a sport, like cycling. <laughs> so correct me on that. But like. In Amsterdam, it's intense. It's a different experience. You have to like, know what you're doing a little bit. Like, you have to be agile on the bike, you know? It's not like being in the States and like, you're a casual bicycling. ride. Or even like an intense, cause they go like on these tracks and like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're around the river and like you're going 20 miles. It's like, no, it's like high traffic. You have to like have your hand signals ready. Right. Like to turn right. and like, the whole thing. Uh, maybe other people bike through cities. We don't, that's a new experience for us. So, this is a long recap, but it was a long trip. We had the best honeymoon that's great. ever. I think it was well worth the wait. My favorite thing from Amsterdam, 
Yeah. The whole trip was Lucky Bucks. No, what you did too. Was that your favorite thing? The Viking Death. Mine was way cool. 40. Go 43, yes. which is a famous apple. Don't you know that that Tasting a freaking cinnamon roll in the sun. It's crazy. For your own safety and Anyways, we have to board in like 15 minutes, but we want to update you on everything. I can't wait to make like a photo album of this whole trip. <laughs> yeah. It was so much fun. It'll be cool. We're going to have some good photo albums. And we didn't kill each other. We did good. No, we I think we really well I think we traveled really well. Yeah, that was fun. We had like one day in Paros where we did like a road trip day where we kind of got annoyed at each other. Driving is stressful. <laughs> But we figured it out. As uh, yeah, as Mel says, get CarPlay. CarPlay will save our relationship. <laughs> save the relationship. <laughs> okay, thanks guys for tuning Bye, in guys. and for watching. I feel like I took you guys along. Yeah. On Insta stories especially. So I have highlights on my Instagram. If you guys want to go see. Um, but yeah, made the best time. Bye. Bye.